Hey, Brian. Oh, oh, I didn't see you there. Oh, you scared the heck out of me. Uh, sorry, I was just busy and focused trying to build this uh, sculpture with all these building blocks that we have. The problem is, this is so unstable and it keeps falling over, and I spend so much time trying to maintain and build these things. I know someone who has just the same problem with compute resources. They tried Hadoop, but it fails often and is super expensive. Ah, there must be a better way, uh, some sort of tool that builds all these things for us and maintains it so we can spend more time analyzing and doing the things that we love instead of spending all of our time building and maintaining. Hmm. Data, Data proc. proc! You know what? I have just the thing. Nice. Let me show you how to create a large data proc cluster with preemptible nodes using the Google Cloud Console or just the command line in minutes. First, we'll create the cluster. Uh, we'll give the cluster a name. Then we'll pick a place to put it. We are in New York, um, so we'll pick uh, US East. Next, we get to choose the cluster mode. And there are three choices. Uh, for this demo, we'll go with standard. After that, we get to pick the shape of the master node. We'll go with two vCPUs. We'll set the primary disk to 10 GB, which happens to be the minimum. Then we get to customize the shape of the worker nodes. And you'll see it's really easy to customize the shape. And this was really important for a customer of mine. We'll set the primary disk size to 10 GB again. And uh, we're creating a really large cluster with preemptible nodes. So let's configure the preemptible nodes uh, next. We'll set the number of nodes to 400. And the shape of these nodes will match the primary worker nodes. Now we could create the cluster right through this user interface. Or uh, what, what we can use is the rest command that it auto generates or even the gcloud command, uh, which is also auto-generated. Now, because I want to measure the time it takes to create this cluster, I have a little script that will run using Cloud Shell. Uh, and that will create the cluster for us today. Now, as this cluster is being provisioned, we can actually track the progress uh, through this user interface. So we could go up and uh, click on the clusters. And you'll see about 400 nodes being provisioned as we speak. You can click through and uh, go to the details, uh, look at the VM instance list, and you'll see all of these preemptible nodes getting provisioned. Now, a few things about using preemptibles in your cluster. They help you run very large clusters at a low total cost. The machine type of these preemptible nodes matches the machine type of the primary workers. Now, within a data proc cluster, preemptible instances are added to a managed instance group. And as you know, they can be reclaimed at any point of time. So these instances can be re-added back into the cluster if and when capacity is available. Also, a few things to consider about preemptibles. They're used as processing nodes only and do not store data. By default, preemptible nodes are created with the smaller of 100 GB or the size of the primary node's persistent disk. And this is, again, used only for local caching and is not available for HDFS. Also, you cannot create a data proc cluster with preemptible only nodes. At minimum, a data proc cluster will have two primary nodes. This ensures that the cluster will never run out of workers. You can add or remove preemptibles from a cluster as needed, and even set the number of preemptibles in a cluster to zero. 50% or lower of the total number of worker nodes being preemptible is a good working ratio. As you can see, the cluster is now ready for use, and it only took a couple of minutes. And you can even submit your jobs through this user interface. Oh, thank you for showing us. That's really cool. So what you're telling me is that with a few clicks of the mouse, we can easily set up these large clusters that build and heal themselves. Also, I really do love that it's super quick to do, and it doesn't take ages to set up and build like it did when I used to have to do this by hand. But my blocks, my poor blocks, don't you have anything out there that will build this for me? Well, Brian, we can't build your blocks for you. But what you just saw were the building blocks for big data analytics. That is really cool. 
Thank you so much for watching, and remember to click subscribe and share this video. And if you're working on any cool projects, connect with us by clicking on the link in the description below.